Hi everyone, in today's video we're checking out Nightbird, which is the third main Terracon in Rise of the Beast. She was seen alongside Scourge and Battle Trap. She's Studio Series 104, let's check out the box. On the side is a massive image of her, let's check out the back. There are two core images of Nightbird, takes 21 steps to transform her, and the vehicle mode is a Nissan. Nightbird and the Terracons fight back the Autobots to steal the Transwarp key. On the side is a close-up image of her face, which is a Deluxe Class Transformer. Let's go out of the box and take a look around her. Here's Nightbird out of the box, and here's a detailed backdrop. Here's Nightbird on the detailed backdrop. She comes with one katana. Check out the details on Nightbird. The face sculpt looks amazing. Look at the great mechanical paneling surrounding the mouth and some of the cool looking printed eyes. The figure has some pretty impressive detailing all around the torso. The arm design looks really cool and accurate to the movie, but does not include any arm blades. Looking around the figure, around the back she has a large backpack along with movie accurate wings, but the large backpack is very distracting. The backpack doesn't lock in place very well and come undone sometimes. Check out some of the articulation on this figure. Head moves around like this. Moving down as well. Moving down to the arms, move around like this, around to the side, and then the elbows, the wrist articulation, legs go to the side like that, move backwards and forwards, and bend in the knee. And with a large backpack, it's difficult to move the figure at the waist. She has one accessory, which is a katana. It's a shame that there isn't two. If she is holding her katana, she can hold it in either hand. Her katana can be stored here on her leg. It can also be stored on this side, so it's showing that there is only one katana. Now let's transform Nightbird into a vehicle mode. A few moments later. After 21 steps, his Nightbird transformed into a Nissan vehicle mode. Things look really cool in vehicle mode, and her purple wheels really stand out. Here's the side. Here's the front. There's a small Terracon logo. Here's the other side. And here's the back. Here's underneath, here's where a katana is stored, and I can see there's room for a second one. I can see she rolls very well in vehicle mode. We can't do a comparison of Nightbird as it's the only one we have. Out of her robot in vehicle mode, I prefer her in vehicle mode. In vehicle mode, she has a very sleek design. But in robot mode, she looks like a mess with that huge backpack. When you pick it up and move it around, it just comes undone. And it's a shame that they didn't add in a second katana. Anyway, hope you enjoyed checking this video out. Thanks for watching.